It was a heartbreaking weekend in South Pittsburgh and Marion County over the weekend. Four young people died in a car accident. One other person was critically injured. South Pittsburgh is grieving after losing three recent graduates from South Pittsburgh High and one current student. Mary Frances Hoot is live here with more on this story. Mary Frances. David, one of the hardest parts about working in education is when a student dies. I spoke with the director of Marion County Schools, Dr. Mark Griffith. He tells me it's something he doesn't think the community will ever get over. Saturday, Dr. Mark Griffith got a call no school administrator ever wants to hear. Four current and former students in his school system, ages 16 to 22, were killed in a car accident on South Pittsburgh Mountain Road. 16 years I've had to deal with tragedy, but nothing to this magnitude as far as dealing with students. It's rocked the community. It's a time where crosstown rivals set aside their differences and offer support. It's truly affected the school community uh, as well as the Marion County as a whole. These young men had ties all over the county, so uh, it, it was it's very unfortunate that this tragedy happened. All of the young men played on the South Pittsburgh High School football team at some point. They are class of 2018 Javen Martin, his brother class of 2021 Savion Martin, also class of 2021 Jamal Allen, and class of 2024 Jalen Pelham. Eli Joyner, a current student, survived the crash. Just great young men that, that uh, had a lot, of, a lot of future, I'll say that. There was, there was a lot of promise and future there. The school system has dispatched resources to the school and said they'll have their doors open during June for people who need support. If you are someone struggling, call school administrators and they'll connect you with help. It'll take a, a healing process, but to, unfortunately, uh, we won't ever be beyond that. Griffith knows the pain of losing a child. He lost his daughter in 2012. He encourages people to lean into prayer during this unfathomable time. Trust in, in the Lord above and, and the power of prayer is, is extremely powerful and we, we're very close-knit community and please lean on your neighbors and, and yeah. continue to pray. There will be a benefit softball tournament for the victims this weekend and all the money raised will go to the families impacted. We have the specifics on our website. In the studio, Mary Frances Hoots, Local 3 News.